Here in this chapter, we're going to start to work with Photoshop. Yet one of the first things that I want to do is focus in on some of the basics so that we're all on the same page. Let's start off by taking a look at the Tools panel. The Tools panel is located over here on the left. There are a number of different tools in this panel, and at first glance, it's kind of a little bit confusing. So what I want to do is deconstruct the Tools panel so that we can really understand what's here. And also, I want to talk about how we can select and work with different tools. Well, in order to do that, I'm going to click on this tab here for this document that I have. This is just a demo slide. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this demo slide, and I want to do this in full screen mode. And then I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the Tools panel. The first thing I want to do is compare the Tools panel from Photoshop CS5 to Photoshop CS6. Here you can see, for the most part, these panels look really similar and most of the tools are in the same location. And that's really good news if you've used this previous version of Photoshop because basically it's the same thing. Now on to deconstructing what we have here. You'll notice that there are these little dividing lines. These tools, well, they're grouped together intentionally. Up at the top, we have our selection tools. One of the Photoshop mantras is select before you correct. That's why these tools are located up near the top. We also have the ability to crop or to measure. Next, we have our retouching tools and painting tools. These give us the ability to heal or clone or paint or erase and more. In the next group, we have tools which allow us to draw or add type or custom shapes. And then finally down below, we have our move and zoom tools. Now that we've seen that, what I'm gonna do is navigate back to Photoshop here and bring back all the panels and go back to this image, lynda-1.jpg. Let's take a look at how we can now select tools and also how we can modify some of the options for the various tools that we have here. One of the first things that you'll notice is that many of these tools have a little triangle next to them. If they have this triangle, you can click and hold down. This allows you to have access to other tools which are located underneath the main tool. And again, just simply click and hold down and you can see that you can access these other tools. You'll also notice that each tool has a shortcut associated with it. One of the ways that you can toggle between these different tools is you can press the shortcut key and also a modifier key. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say we want to select one of our lasso tools and we have the move tool selected. Well, you can press the L key in order to select that tool and then shift plus L and that will then go through the other tools underneath that tool. We could do the same thing with other tools as well. Let's look at this, say, with the brush tool. We'll press B and then Shift B. You can see how I can move through these other tools which are located in the same area with the brush tool. So again, that's just a handy way to select tools. The next thing I want to point out is that when we select a tool, we have options up here in what's called the options bar. We can change these options by simply clicking on these menus. Here I'll change a new option in regards to the crop aspect ratio. And each of these different tools, well, they have a different set of options. I'll go ahead and click Don't Crop, and then select another tool, like the Clone Stamp tool. Here you can see the options for that tool. Well, the last thing that I want to highlight here is how we can zoom and also move around the image. At the base of the tool panel, we have the Hand tool, also the Zoom tool. We can click on the Zoom tool to simply click to zoom in, hold down Option or Alt, and then click again to zoom out. There also are a few really handy shortcuts when it comes to viewing and moving our files. And they have to do with these two tools. Well, the hand tool, the shortcut key, is the H key. That tool allows us to click and drag in order to reposition our photograph. The zoom tool is the Z key. This allows us to zoom in and out, as I just demonstrated. And there are a couple different ways that we can work with these two tools to quickly change what we're looking at. With the Zoom tool, if you double click on it, it will take your image to 100%. Here we can see the image up close. If we want to take the Zoom back to a fit and view mode, what we can do is go ahead and double click the Hand tool. In that way, we can see the entirety of our document. So as you can see, you can work with these different tools and you can access them either by clicking on them or by using their shortcut. And sometimes these tools will have other shortcuts associated with them as well. Now that we've become familiar with the Tools panel, let's talk a little bit more about the rest of the Photoshop interface, and let's do that in the next movie.